Hello YouTube, WJ Sandy Dad here, and today we're doing the unboxing of the, and I hope I say this right, Moiko car air pump. It's a 12 volt inflator for tires, but of course you can use it for just about anything that needs to be inflated. Instructions. Got some adapters here for various size, so you know, like they're for a ball, and these are probably your various size uh, inflatables you might take to the pool or something. And then looks like you also got a spare fuse there. Side of the box there shows you the specs on it. It says it has a three meter long cord and that's important because if you're running this off of your cigarette lighter plug in your vehicle and you need it to inflate a vehicle tire, having that long cord is going to be important so that you can reach. So it looks like it has a pretty good quality uh, hose and connector here. Nice convenient carry handle here. It's very lightweight by the way. So you don't have to be super strong to carry this around. It says it comes with a light as well as the on off switch there. And until we get this plugged in I don't know what these do. Obviously don't place this near a heat source or flammable liquids. Uh, I've never seen a 24 volt cigarette lighter plug, but I'm sure now that I've said that, somebody out there is going to say that they have one. But obviously this goes for a 12 volt usage only. It says don't use this product in large trucks. Don't know if that's referring to what we might call an 18 wheeler or if they're even referring to like a three quarter ton or one ton pickup truck. I don't know since it just says trucks. And according to this, it sounds like it might get warm during extended usage, so be careful what you grab on there. You got an air meter, which is going to be the screen here, the lamp, which is in the front there, LED light. So you use these buttons to adjust the, what they call, target pressure. So in other words, if your car is supposed to be inflated to 35 PSI, you'd set this to 35, hit enter, and then when you turn it on, it will run until it reads 35, and then it automatically shuts off. So that's actually a really nice feature there. So of course, if you've ever used any kind of inflator, you know that you flip this, place the attachment in and lock it into place or if you're putting it on a vehicle tire you know, slide that right over and lock into place so let's go check it out you want to make sure you plug it into a factory location because your factory location has heavier duty wiring than if you run an aftermarket socket somewhere this thing draws a lot of current. Attach this to your tire and then lock it down. Now you see the gauge shows you the pressure that's in the tire and you can set your target. So whatever you think your tire should be at. So now I've set this to target 37. So when I turn it on it will fill up to 37 and then automatically shut off. So that's a really nice feature that you don't have to worry about shutting it off yourself. You do want to turn it off when you're done though. When you change your target, it's not going to automatically kick on for you. So like if I switch this to 38 and had left that on, it's not going to start filling again. So I'd have to turn it off and on. So. Go ahead and turn that off. 
So you can use this just to check your tire pressures, as you see, I'm showing 37 here now. Inflate them, deflate them. If I want to deflate it, I can just flip this lever a little bit. And now I've got 36 pounds of pressure in there. So if you accidentally overinflate, just flip that lever, let a little bit of air out, and you'll be fine. And if you've got this plugged in, it shows you the air pressure as you're deflating. So real handy. So I'll post a link in the description of how you can get one of these for yourself on Amazon. And check out my review of the product on Amazon as well as all of my other videos. Hope the video was helpful. Appreciate a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And please tell your friends about my channel. Thank you very much.